This actually leads into my other thing I wanted to talk about, which is it, a, a really fascinating fact about your career is not just how productive you've been, but how long you've been, how long you've had your finger on the pulse, right? How long you've been relevant. And that's, a you must know, an incredibly rare thing for a musician. I remember, I've forgotten who the musician was who famously said, I can long, after his star had started to descend, I can still write songs, I just can't write hits, right? Well, you, you both can write songs and write hits for much longer than your peers. Have you thought about, what, is there a secret to your ability to keep relevant for that long? How do you make sense of it? It's like, um, I, ha I done had periods where I haven't made as, I guess, bigger, bigger songs or bigger albums. Um, my whole thing is, is I just keep making myself accessible to the youth, to the new artist, the new producer, the new DJ, the new sound. You know, it's like I'm eager, I'm curious. Like even if it's like I may don't like this genre of music as much as I used to like the old genre, I'm still curious. I'm still checking for the next high artist. I still want to sign the next whoever he is. Alternative, R&B, hip hop, rap. So it's like I'm always listening, you know, mm -hmm. to find like something good. And I'm always willing to collaborate. And I feel like that keeps me up on my toes. And at the same time, it pushes me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, okay, you finna collaborate with, um, let's say, Fifth Harmony. It's a pop record. How can Gucci come off on this record and, and leave it where people be like, damn, Gucci killed it? That's mm -hmm. my that's my thing. So it's like I, I always I think a lot of artists when they get big, they don't collaborate. The more money they make, the more closed up they are. If you see, that's why a lot of artists like kind of always self destruct. They go in the house and take pills and don't want to see nobody. Mm -hmm. They don't want to collaborate with nobody. They so big, they price so so it's just making them more and more and closing themselves in. And it's like now you're closing yourself in away from your fans. All the artists who are just, I don't think I'm the dopest artist. I know I'm dope. I know can't nobody mess with me. Mm -hmm. I, I'm serious. Yeah. Like, I really believe that. But at the same time, I do still think all the artists are dope too. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I never be like, he whack. How he whack if he got fans? If they like it, evidently he doing something because somebody mm -hmm. enjoys it. If somebody else enjoy it, maybe me and that person can collab and make a, a dope record. Or maybe it be trash. And that's how I kind of do it. Like, we do it, it ain't good, it ain't good. Mm -hmm. We do it, we got a chemistry, let's make four or five more records. You're not scared of failure. I feel like I can't fail. I've been feeling like that since I was a little boy. I mm -hmm. feel like no matter what I'm doing, I'm going to land on my feet. Yeah, yeah. When you look at your, at the music you've made, what's the, is there a song or uh, an album or even, but it, that you don't like in retrospect, that, you're, that you think was a real mistake? An uh, album? Or a song? I remember I did a song called Pills. Gucci, is you rolling, bitch, I might be. And Zay, and, and Zay put that song out. But yeah. I was high as hell when I made it. Yeah. And I was so mad the next day when they played. I'm like, don't do that, because I'm telling, it's like I'm telling on myself. Yeah. And, and it's still to this day, it's like people make memes about like, bitch, I might be Gucci. Bitch. But at that time, I was so mad at Zay. Like, why would you put that record out? You know I was tripping last night. Why would you put that record? I was mad as hell. But yeah. it turned out to be a hit record. But I was so, like... Uh, Even when you're high, you're producing hit records. It goes to my point about... <laughs> you can't help yourself. That's 70% of my discography. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, what? I, I'm interested in this... So when you talk about how you need to be open to collaborate and sort of get it, you know, not... not not lock the door of your house and stay up by yourself. Yeah. Uh, do you have to force yourself to do that, or does it come naturally? It's, it's I guess it's like, um, I didn't force myself, it's like I learned it. You know, a lot of things I just give credit where credit is due. I used to go over Zaytoven house, you know, me and him came up with the same age, we came up trying to rap the same time. And he always had people at his studio. You know, when I would come, and I'd be like, why would you have these young guys over here? They bring nothing to the table. He wasn't even charging them for beats. He'd be like, he used to have, that's how I met, like, Bankroll Fresh, Young L.A., Young Ralph. These all, these guys was in high school when I was coming. I'm like 24, 25. They was like 16, 17. When I met mm -hmm. Mike Will, he was 17. He was a junior high. I mean, mm -hmm. he was in a junior in high school. But Zay would be like, he dope. That's, that's Young L.A. I don't even charge him for beats. He can come anytime he want to. And that, that kind of, I used to, I was like, I don't want them around. You know, I want to be here by myself. But that ain't how he would work. And mm. I took that strategy from him. I started seeing like, damn, because them artists was dope. And they ended up blowing up later, later on, years later. So my whole thing was I opened up my door. Yeah, it's hard to open up the door and don't nobody got nothing to offer. They can't pay for the studio time. They can't even get themselves to where you need them. So it's like, but I was there too. 
Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's, that's how I got, it's like all I got to do is think that you're talented. Once I think that you really got to, it's like I don't play. If I think it's dope, then don't worry about nothing. We can make it happen. All I got to do is really believe that you got potential. 